Hey guys, on today's video we're going to be updating a few apps on our Mac. So let's get started. On the top left hand corner of your Mac you're going to see this app logo. So just click on app logo and from there just scroll down a little bit until you see the app store. Now system updates would be under system preferences. However, apps themselves are still under the App Store. So let's just click on that third option. Once we click on that third option, we're gonna see all the apps as you guys can see right here. So we have Compressor, Final Cut Pro, GarageBand, Keynote, Numbers, and Pages to Update. On the top right-hand corner, we're gonna see Update All. So we can always click on Update All in order to update every single one of them at the same time. However, let's say you guys don't see a particular update. So let's say it's Final Cut Pro and we don't see it there for some reason. On the top left hand corner, we're gonna see search and just type in Final Cut Pro. We're gonna look for that. We should see a few results come in and right here is Final Cut Pro. On the top right hand corner, we should see update or we can always click on Final Cut Pro, open that up and on the top left hand corner, again, we're gonna see update and we can just click update from here. So that's another way to find any updates that you might not see there right away. Now let's just go back into our update section. So to do that on the left hand side bottom, we're going to see updates. So just click on updates and you're going to see this. So we're going to update every single one of these. So we're going to start off with compressor, for example, just click on update. Sure. We can always click on more. Once you click on more, you're going to see this small message. So this one's about 300 megabytes. Final Cut Pro is still downloading. I'm going to click on more so you guys can see how big that one is. Now that's three gigs. So it's pretty big. However, it's almost done. So as long as we see this moving on, so this right here keeps moving, then that means it's downloading. It's downloading a pretty good speed. Same goes with compressor. It's still going. Now let's move on to GarageBand. Let's click on update. Also click on more and down here. We can see it's a little bit less than a gig. Moving on to Keynote. We're going to press on update also more and Keynote is only 300 megabytes. Next up we have numbers. Same deal. Let's click on more and we can see that's only 255 megabytes. And finally pages click on update view more. The only reason I'm clicking on view more so you guys can see exactly how big this update is. So the, again, this one's almost 300 gigs. And once these updates are done, you're going to see the circle fully close and then it should disappear from there. It should appear down here below. So we will say updated recently and we have Final Cut Pro, for example. From here, you should see only open once they have been updated. Anyways, that would be it. That's so you guys can update all your apps right here on the new Mac OS. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.